Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can work in GoShipo uh, to complete your uh, orders, shipments, to see the analytics and really micromanage your orders. First things first, we have to create ourselves an account at GoShipo.com or log into our existing account. Once we're in here, as you can see, straight away we can see all the informations that uh, we can we can do or we can comprehend in GoShipo, and this is our uh, this is our taskbar or workspace. Let's go to the left, and as you can see, there are orders. Uh, I already created one, just so you can see. And then there are shipments, analytics, which I strongly recommend. Settings. Let's go back and help center. Uh, we should start and focus on settings first. As you can see, there's your account. General, there is uh, a plan. For example, if you want to become a paid user, billings, you can add a credit card or promo code and profile itself. Then uh, we have some pro options for branding and users and straight away integrations there uh, we should start to integrate uh, GoShipo for example with uh, Shopify as you can see Shopify I already made some videos about it so go and check them out how to use them and how to use it and so on and very easily you can make this integration work just click in uh, at Shopify and then copy paste your, your URL. Then there's Wix, uh, WooCommerce, WooCommerce, Squarespace, Square and Amazon. Carriers, those are the guys that will deliver your orders. For example, uh, we can even uh, connect a carrier account, but uh, default, de defaultly everything is scratched in. You can connect it or not connect it. By clicking at connect carrier account, you can micromanage uh, the carriers that you want to hire to deliver your packages. Uh, mainly, uh, it's really dependent where you live. For example, Orange, Passport, but uh, DLG e-commerce will be, I would say, or UPS and FedEx, the most used ones. Appies, if you need to make uh, integration or if you want to make an integration through third-party software or third-party app like uh, Automate or, or Zapier, you just simply click on generate token and you copy paste uh, this token as, a, as like a second way of authentication. Then there are apps. You have no authorized apps and then configurations i strongly recommend to actually give some love to your for example social media instagram facebook and so on uh, and really really uh, go for like labels addresses If you want to create a label for your pickup driver, then there are packages. Uh, we are going in centimeters and kilograms because we are in Europe. Tracking page, notifications and automatizations. But you have to upgrade the plan. Let's go back to orders. Straight away, as you can see, I already created one, but let's create another one. What do we have to do? We have to go to create label. This label contains of a sender address and the recipient address. All of those are obviously fake, but let's go, for example, this is our uh, sender address. Let's go with a uh, recipient. Let's go Jessica Stone, company, let's say no company.
Yeah, let's make it up. Let's go like this. Like this. This address is a residential address as well. Oh, sorry. And uses a return address as well. Uh, so the package will leave from my address and if I won't be able to deliver it or the guys from DHL or UPS won't be able to deliver it, it will go back to address that you use as a second one, for example, your personal one. And then next order details. Right now, we have to uh, address the packages. For example, let's go and pick an item description. Uh, for example, big box quantity one. I don't know why we have still uh, this one here. Unit value. Let's go with euros. Country of origin, Slovakia, and add. And as you can see, we have one big box. Uh, we can still add more. Quantity one, weight two kilos, and value 150 euros. Now, now let's go uh, to uh, custom dimensions. Or carry provided parcels, or enter custom dimensions. Let's go like this. Length, uh, it won't be in inches, and it will be in centimeters. Let's go 50 times 25 times height 25. Save. At the moment, you won't be able to get the rates because, first of all, you have to uh, make one first, like one first. Uh, yeah. DHL Express Master account doesn't support shipment from outside of the US. But if you change the DHL Express to UPS, for example, it will work. Now you can add a signature uh, confirmation, shipment insurance, and if it contains alcohol. Yet we, have, uh, we can edit the recipient or addresses and so on and so on and since we have we don't have this one covered yet we can't press buy but that's just so you know uh, we have one jessica stone order placed and now when we squared this box as you can see one of uh, zero of one is ready edit uh, email addresses shipment options package info and rates are unavailable because of the problem that I told you before. Here we have the shipments. Once we order, once we order a pickup for our 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 package, we go with schedule the pickup, USPS for example, and we fill out the form or DHL Express, but we are not in US. Analytics. Here you will see. Uh, the moving of your of your products or of your packages in uh, in GoShipo. This very it's very well. It's very good to integrate it with uh, with Shopify, for example, because uh, that can be your like eShop or something like that, and uh, GoShipo will track everything that you send, the nominal value, average price per package, total shipping, you can uh, choose if it's last past uh, 30 or custom. It's a very nice feature. Settings we covered and that's about it. As you can see, it's very easy to micromanage your, your shipments. You can bulk upload the CSVs from uh, Shopify, for example, and print the documents or manual entry of a label. 
if you want to log out on the bottom left part it's log out and that's pretty much it so thanks for watching and see you on the next video